My name is Karen Light and I'm 61 years old. I've never been in trouble in my entire life except for one time. It was for conspiracy to commit insurance fraud and I ended up spending 28 months in prison. Prior to pleading guilty and going to prison, I was a registered voter, I was registered Republican, and I vote in every single election since I was 18 years old. Before going to prison, I worked full time, and as soon as I was released from prison, I continued to working full time. Been paying my taxes, been earning a decent salary, and have not received a single government benefit. But I still can't vote. I have worked my way up from getting out of prison at $10 an hour to making a very good living right now. And I pay thousands of dollars in taxes every year. And the way I feel about paying thousands of dollars for the government and not being able to have a say in the government is taxation without representation. I'm very lucky. I, I, I have two wonderful children. Um, both of them are college graduates, and they vote. They're registered to vote, and they vote in every election. When you see mothers that have been put in prison, having their children being raised by grandmothers or farmed out to various family members, when those mothers come out of prison, and they get their job, and they're working, and they get their kids back, and they're doing everything they can to stay clean, they want their children to be proud of them and to see them as um, contributing members to society. These women deserve a second chance in their life. It's a matter of giving people who have served their time, who have paid their debt to society, who are active, participating members of the community, holding down jobs, paying taxes, paying for their health care, taking care of their children, going to school, higher education, going to church, doing service work for their community. These people are among you. And their kids have such a hard time when they go inside. And when you come out, you're just grateful to be out. You're grateful to be able to work and you do everything to keep that job and to keep money on the table, honest money that you're paying your taxes for. They deserve redemption. They paid not being with their kids for years. They deserve it. Do the right thing. In November, please vote yes on Amendment 4.